Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm down in Area 1, the southernmost beach at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. I haven't started a beach walk from down here for a while, so I thought I'd give you a look at this end of the park. Kind of overcast today, not as many waves as yesterday. Right now the temperature is about 74 degrees. Expecting a high today of, oh, up around 83. See where that buggy is up there, that golf cart on the beach? That's a new sea turtle nest. We had another crawl last night. That is nest number six up there. That is so cool. We'll take a look at that. There's another, there's two nests up there. But I'm gonna walk down to the south here a little bit. People have asked what the beach looks like down here. Again, this is area one. The sand is really soft along here. Beautiful morning, a little, it's overcast, but it's still gorgeous out here. You can see the difference between the beach at Del Nor Wiggins and, and the county beach on Vanderbilt. The county beach starts where all the condos are. And there's, besides all the condos, the county actually has big machines, big tractors that rake the beach in the mornings. So the beaches are pretty well manicured. Whereas in the state park here, they just let mother nature pretty much run her course along the beach. And you see there's no condos here at Del Nor Wiggins. It's all natural. There's a mile of beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. Area four is quite a ways up there. We're gonna walk up there and chat with Roy. But I wanted to just give you a quick look at this, you know, the southern end of the park here. It's been a while since I've been down here during the live feed. Hopefully I'll make it up to area four. <laughs> I should have enough batteries here to make it up there. Lots of little kittens paused along the, along the beach here. I haven't really been checking for shells. I've just been looking for sea turtle crawls, sea turtle traps. There's a kitten's paw there. That's a big one. A big kitten's paw shell, kitten paw. There's a big slipper shell. That's a big fat one. That's almost round, that slipper shell. 
show you why they call it a slipper shell. Flip it over. See how it looks kind of like a little a little slipper with that little chamber there. The slipper shell. A very common shell here on the beach. The beaches of Southwest Florida. Boy, the water is absolutely gorgeous down here in Area 1. Look at that. Look at all the shells just coming in and out with the waves. Saw a scallop. There's a there's another one. Two little. Had to grab them fast. Two little black scallop shells. Beautiful down here though. The water's nice and clear. Ooh, big moon shell. Rolling around here. Can I get it? Yes. Gorgeous. Look at that. Nice big moon shell. What a beautiful find. Just rolling around in the surf here. Look at the bottom of that. Beautiful colors. Oh. Gorgeous. Shark eye, moon shell. Look at that. That's a beauty. Nice find. Glad I came down here this morning and started down here. I'm going to walk along the edge of the water here. Never know. Every morning there's something different. I'm seeing lots, lots and lots of mossy arc shells rolling around in the waves here. You gotta be fast though when you see something roll in here. As fast as it comes in, it rolls back out. An old worn out Florida fighting conch shell. There's another one down there. The water feels great. It actually dropped a degree. It's 82 degrees now, the water. I guess the rain's cooled the gulf down a little bit. There's a little teeny tiny piece of worm rock. A little tiny piece of worm rock. That's pretty cool looking stuff, the worm rock. At times we can find some really big chunks of that on the beach. There's a mossy arc, a mossy arc shell. Another common shell here. The tide's still going out here. So maybe as I start my walk back up to the north, Maybe we'll get lucky and find some more interesting shells. Gorgeous. That's, that's the end of the park. I don't know if you can see there's a sign down there that marks the the beginning of Del Norwegian State Park down there. This is the very southern end. There's actually some sea turtle nests further down on the county beach down there on Vanderbilt. So we're definitely starting to see more and more sea turtle crawls. But you can see the difference. Look at the, that's the county beach. All the condominiums, 
Then as I pan around and I start looking up towards the north, Del Norwegans, it's all natural, all trees, all unspoiled paradise. Isn't that beautiful? Check out that water. It's really nice. Good morning. Well, let's start walking north, see how far up the beach I get. I know we had a, another successful crawl last night. So actually yesterday I shared a picture of uh, sea turtle nest number four with everyone. However, as of yesterday, there were five nests, five sea turtle nests. So now we're up to six. We'll go see if we can find them. There are a lot of these little black scallops washing up on the beach this morning. They're just washing up in these waves here. A little black scallop shell. Something I found just rolling around in the surf here just caught my eye earlier this morning was this beautiful, beautiful moon shell, also known as a shark eye. That was a great find. Look at the colors on the bottom of it. Absolutely gorgeous. That was just rolling around here in the waves, right on the surf. That made my morning. I'm happy already. <laughs> Earlier this morning, I got to see a few deers out in Eastern Collier. That always makes me happy seeing some interesting wildlife. And all we need to do is find some dolphins, see some dolphins here this morning. That'd be awesome. Oh, another little, another little chunk of worm rock here. This thing is so neat. You look at it close, you can see the little worm tubes. So cool. If you're just joining me, I'm down in Area 1 at Del Norwegens Pass State Park in North Naples. This is the very south end of the park, of the beach, the southern end. It's been a while since I've been down here. I was, I'm going to try to walk the beach and spot our turtle nests. Here's one here, the loggerhead sea turtle nest. And this was nest number one. Loggerhead sea turtle nest number one. The first nest we had in it's kind of ironic. She came up and laid her eggs in area one. <laughs> so we have nest number one in area one. That's kind of cool. Isn't that beautiful looking up the beach here? You know, I'm gonna have to stop and take a picture of this. I'm sorry, just bear with me for a minute. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. Well, that's nest number one there. Sea turtle, loggerhead sea turtle nest number one. You can see our sea oats down here are making a wonderful comeback finally after Hurricane Irma. These were all buried in the sand, every single one of them. This was, there were no sea oats here last September. Look at them now. Isn't that beautiful? All starting to bloom. Gorgeous. Let's get back down by the water. Seems to be a lot of shells down here, right on the edge of the surf. Kind of hard to spot them. We're just rolling in and out with the waves. A little bit of sun breaking through the clouds. 
Aren't those colors beautiful? Seventy-four degrees right now. Expecting a high of oh, around eighty-one. Not so warm today. Expecting showers later today. Welcome to Florida in the summertime. see you don't have long if you spot something a shell coming in here you don't have long to grab it the waves just pull them right back out you got to keep your eyes open and think fast Incredible, an incredible amount of mossy arc shells out here this morning. I saw one somewhere. I mean, every, the mossy arcs are everywhere this morning, especially right here in the surf. The mossy arcs. And there's one there, there's one there. No shortage of mossy arc shells this morning. I wish the sun would come out. The colors really pop when the sun comes out. It's easier to spot things too. I've seen a lot of these black scallops this morning also. A lot of them. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I tossed those that handful of shells I had off to the side and there was a lady walking up behind me. <laughs> that was funny. Paddle boarders heading out up ahead of me. A couple paddle boarders. There's another. Is this a scallop? Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. I tried. Yeah, up well, part of a scallop. It's really hard catching them. They come and go with these waves. They're in and out in the blink of an eye. Oh. This is where I came in. Just up here to the right. See that boardwalk? That's where we started this morning. And I went down south to the end of the park. We're still in Area 1. Area 1's pretty big. Area 1 Beach.
Great access point though here. This would be the first access point in parking lot number one. That's where this ramp is up here. You can see it's a nice boardwalk with a nice ramp. They actually have beach wheelchairs here. You just need to let them know at the ranger station if you have anybody that needs a beach wheelchair. Is let them know at the ranger station and they'll get you on and you can bring your friends out onto the beach. This beach offers access to everybody. This is a little more than a year old, I believe, a year and a half old. This They've completely rebuilt this boardwalk. More of our beautiful sea oats. Aren't they gorgeous? There's a piece of a worm shell. There's just a piece of a worm shell, not the tip. That's part of the actual worm shell itself. That's pretty cool. Find all different shapes and sizes of these worm shells. Pretty interesting. Looks like macaroni, doesn't it? Look like a piece of pasta, piece of macaroni. <laughs> well, I'm torn between walking along the, little, the high tide mark from last night for shells or walking along the water, right along the water line here. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. A little overcast, but so what? Probably up to 75 degrees now. Water temperature is 82 degrees. It dropped one degree during the past few days. It's looking south down towards Vanderbilt Beach. Part of a horseshoe, horseshoe crab. Just the, they shed these shells. This one's missing its pointy tail. That's actually the front of it over here. That bump, that's one of his eyes up there. It's part of a horseshoe crab minus the tail. They shed these, this isn't a dead one. They shed their, their they call it an exoskeleton. Pretty amazing, pretty wild creatures. Nat Geo, the Nat Geo channel did a great special on these. If you Google that, you can learn all about these things. They go way back to prehistoric days, these horseshoe crabs. Just a little bit of sun out here, you can see I'm casting just a real, real slight shadow here. I don't know if you can see my shadow. It's getting a little darker there. We're still in area one. I'm gonna be crossing over to area two here in a minute. Walking north up the beach towards Wiggins Pass. Here's another one of our loggerhead sea turtle nests. This is nest number five. Nest number five. So we have two nests. I think we have three nests in area one. Here's nest number five.
See, they try to they try to keep the raccoons out and other predators with these cages they put on the sea turtle nest. Those raccoons are pretty smart, though. They figure out how to get around them, and so do the crabs. Just remember, it's against the law to tamper with these nests. There's nest number five. Well, something neat they have here at the park. It's private companies have donated life jackets. They have these life jacket stations several places throughout the park at several places. But if you don't have a life jacket for your kid, you have no reason not to have one here at the park. They have free ones here. Just please put them back after you use them, rinse them off, get the sand off them. You can see these were donated by Naples Community Hospital. Great program. Put your kid in a life jacket. It's better to be safe than sorry. You can see a couple of the little picnic tables here too. There's picnic tables scattered all throughout the park here, just off the beach. Picnic tables with barbecue grills. See them all around here? Quite a few right here. This is the north end of area one. This is the very north end of the parking lot at area one, right over in there, straight through those trees. Quite a few people have placed benches in memory of their loved ones, not just Roy. Great way to remember somebody, to memorialize them. Gene and Randy Chapman. What a great gesture. Memorialize your family member and give some place, somebody a great seat to enjoy the sunsets. There's sea turtle nest number five in area one. And just around the corner, I see another one. I'm gonna just go down the beach, see if I find any shells. Before I walk him back up to the other nest. This is one that came ashore. This is a sea turtle that came ashore last night. I don't know if we'll see her tracks or not. The nest is up here. See the nest up there? I don't know if we'll see her tracks here. See a few of her tracks. The sea turtle crawl tracks right here. This is her return tracks. See, they look, these are tire tracks from the ranger's vehicle, but these are the sea turtle tracks there. These are the return tracks. You can see how the sand's pushed back as she came down. But those are the loggerhead sea turtle. And there's that little squiggly line that you look for, and that kind of lets you know that she laid her eggs. It's hard to see it there. There's not a lot of bright sun. That's a good indication that it was a successful crawl. This one just happened last night. And this is nest number six. How cool is that? Sea turtle nest number six. I'm gonna take a quick photo of that just to post later. For those that didn't watch this. Loggerhead sea turtle nest number six. I believe that would, is in area two. Hard to say. It's right between area one and two. Park rangers, though, they do a good job of documenting all the nests here. They actually dig down into the nest and verify that there are eggs in there. So when you see a nest marked here at the state park, there's definitely eggs in there. Whereas on the county beaches, a lot of the county beaches, they just mark every crawl. So there might not necessarily be any eggs there. 
There's some snook swimming right along shore here. It's a little too dark to see them. Right out in there, there's three snook. Some of the old boys call them snook. The old Florida crackers call the snook snook. Sun's making a little appearance here. It's not out full blast here, but it's out. You see we have a few shadows on the beach. That's nice. Still hard to see the bottom when the sun's not out. You can kind of see the reflections down there. Had a great chat with Roy yesterday. Sadly, I couldn't download the video from Facebook after my beach walk to post to YouTube. So the best quality we're gonna get out of that one is what's on Facebook. Hopefully I'll be able to save this one this morning, today's beach walk. Get that posted on YouTube in a little better quality. Coming out here in the morning, it's so peaceful. Get to talk to some really nice people. We've met so many great people here from all around the world through these live feeds. It's amazing. Make sure you let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself if you're new to the group. Love the little conversations that get started here during the live feeds in the comment section. That's great. That's what it's all about. Bringing people together. Just using this beautiful beach as the background. Great look south down the beach. I'm up in area two now. There's a fighting conch shell on the beach. Well, that's a beauty. Let me rinse the sand off it real quick. It's got a nice color pattern on it. Look at that. Beautiful stripe pattern on it. That's a beautiful little Florida fighting conch. Nobody home. You always wanna make sure there's no live animals inside before you take any shells home from the beach. That's a beautiful. Florida fighting pot. I always say this is probably the most collected seashell in Southwest Florida. They're pretty abundant. The Florida fighting conch. All kinds of neat stuff down here. You can see it just comes and goes with every wave. You never know what you're gonna find down here. You can find some little treasures when you scoop up a handful of shells like this. Just a 
never know. Hmm. Neat little things down there. One of these days, I'm gonna find a shark's tooth. They're all over the place here. I just never find them. I don't know why. I just don't have the luck or the eye for them. But this is where you find them, right along this little ridge, right here. Now yeah, let's move up the beach. Got a lot of distance to cover here. We want to catch up to Roy and our friends Scott and Linda. See how they're doing this morning. Over here is another sea turtle nest. This would be, I believe this is probably loggerhead nest, sea turtle nest number two, which is right at the bottom of the access ramp in area two. This is the north end of area two. And here's loggerhead sea turtle nest number two. So right now we have a total of six. We saw number six that the loggerhead sea turtle came on shore last night and laid some eggs. This is nest number two. Number six was down in area one. Another great access ramp. Another great ramp. Like I said earlier, they do have beach wheelchairs here available. You just have to let them know at the ranger station. I'm gonna snap off a photo of that. Bear with me one second. Okay, I'm back, sorry. It's either video or pictures. I can't do both at the same time here. You have to bear with me. This is area three. This is not one of my favorite spots in the park. There's a lot of stones out in the water. You can see there's old tree stumps sticking up. You gotta be really careful walking along here. It's kinda interesting when you think about it though. These tree stumps out in the water, that means this is where the beach used to be all the way out here. Boy, there's a big piece of concrete on the beach. Look at all the stuff growing on that thing. Wow. Almost looks like it. It is. It's a giant. Looks like a giant. A giant piece of worm rock. Look at that. Thing's huge. Ha! Huh. Wow. Look how big that is. <laughs> I don't actually know what all that dark stuff is in the water there, but you can see there's some tree stumps buried out there. I don't hang out in this part of the park, Area 3. You know, it's some kind of algae or something. It's been there forever. It's not gonna hurt you. Just 
just doesn't look like it's very comfortable to walk on. There's an osprey sitting up in the tree. See if I can get a little closer without it flying away. It's just perched up just above my head here. See him? That's an osprey. We have a nesting pair of osprey just, just up where Roy is in area four. Right here, this looks like probably a male. I just got done having breakfast. You always have to remember to look up when you're walking the beach. There's a lot of neat birds up in the trees. People forget about the birds. They get so focused on the shells and the beach. Well, that's an osprey. Pretty good look at them. He's kind of cleaning himself. Come on, stick your head up. There you go. Great look at the Nospray. Hey, hit that share button. See him up there, perched up there. Let's get some more viewers on here. What the heck with that wedding? This is more important than that wedding. <laughs> that wedding will be, will be on for years. If the signal happens to drop out here, if I lose the connection, just stay, stay tuned, bear with me. I will be back. I just have to walk up the beach and find a better location. And on occasion, we do lose our connection here. It's all part of doing live feeds. One of the pitfalls. There's no Wi-Fi out here on the beach, so everyone's at the mercy of their cell phone carriers out here. So this is the north end of Area 3 here now, where I'm at, right at the north end. Another little boardwalk. That's a great little boardwalk right over there. There's a nice little bench on the end there. You can sit and watch the sunset. This is the north end of Area 3. Turn around, give you a look back down the beach. We started down in area one this morning, all the way down at the south end of the park. There's where that osprey was perched up there, still perched up there. Lots of pine trees in area three. These are Australian pines. Surprisingly, they didn't blow over during Hurricane Irma. Now there's a big picnic area in the park between parking lots three and four. So there's, you got quite a little walk between area of beach three and four. Oops, almost walked by another one of our sea turtle nests. Nest number three. Again, there's six nests now. And here's nest number three.
Again, these are loggerhead sea turtles that come ashore here at Del Norwegans. They lay their eggs in the middle of the night under the cover of darkness. The eggs, they hatch at night as well. During, that's just a protective thing. Mother's nature's way of protecting the little sea turtles, giving them a, a little bit of a fighting chance. I'd say only one in a thousand of those little critters makes it to adulthood. That's amazing. I'd love to see a dolphin swim by here. I'm missing, missing those guys. They're here. Roy said he saw some up by Wiggins Pass the other day. It's been a while since they've come up to the beach and put on a good show for me during my beach walk. Well, the barge is still out there. It's not pumping sand yet this morning, but it's out there. We'll probably be firing that up soon. Look at all the shells down here in the water. hard to see them. It's really hard to get a hold of something when you see it. Wow, I can't believe I spotted that. Looky there, another beautiful shark eye, moon shell. Wow, what a beauty. Thought it was a stone, I almost walked by it. Look at the eye on that one, it's almost got a blue color to it. You wanna see something neat? Check this out. It's almost like I found a matching pair this morning. Isn't that cool? That is so neat. Two beautiful moon shells, also known as a shark eye. See, I'm torn between walking along the water's edge and up along the high tide line. I found one in the water and I found one on the high tide line. So there's just no rhyme or reason. When the shell gods are watching over you, they're watching over you. <laughs> well, I'm happy. It's always nice to go home with something in your pocket when you're out at the beach. So far today, it's two beautiful moon shells. Just getting into Area 4 now. This is the south end of Area 4 Beach. I hope I get to see Roy out here this morning. I want to chat a little bit with him about his book and whatnot. His book, booklet, whatever you want to call it. He calls it a book. Ooh, look at there. Who knows what that is? Everybody knows what that is. Everybody that watches these beach walks. It's one of our turkey wing shells. Very cool. A turkey wing. I think I see Scott and Linda up the beach. See Roy's chair out there. Hey, 
sun really went in behind the clouds just now. Shells up here along the high tide mark. Let's see. A lot of broken shells along the beach here. And I'm sure the lack of shells here has something to do with this barge that's been pumping the sand out on oh, just offshore here. I'm sure it's screwing everything up here. I'm not sure I'm in favor of this thing sitting out here doing that. I mean, yeah, they got to, I guess they have to dredge the pass out for the fishermen to get their boats out. They got to put the sand somewhere, but I mean, it can't be that good for the environment. First of all, it's like a giant vacuum just sucking everything up that's in Wiggins Pass. Whatever kind of marine life there is on the bottom. And it spits it out up here. In area four and buries whatever's out there and you see stars and sand dollars and conks just buries them alive so i don't know if i'm a big fan of this dredging business Find some nice shells. Yeah. There's already some folks out here shelling. Saturday morning. Gosh. It's so peaceful out here. A bit overcast, but so what? Still beautiful. Good morning, how are you doing? Good, thank you. And you? Wonderful. Are we the only ones not watching the Royal Leopard? That's what I'm thinking. There's a couple people here watching. <laughs> That'll be on for years and years. <laughs> Ooh, look at all these shells down here. Yeah, I guess everybody's watching the Royal Wedding. And not my beach walk, shame on them. Shame on them. I hope we see a giant octopus or something this morning. That'll teach them a lesson. Look at all these little shells. Darn, there's piles of them here. Oh, there's Roy. He's sitting up on the beach under the umbrella. What's that down there? Part of something. Yeah. yeah, it looks like part of an old slipper shell. Huh. A worn out slipper shell. A little fighting conch over here. Pretty old and worn. Seen better days. Left of a fighting conch. There's a little scallop shell down here. Pretty 
colorful. Although without the bright sun, it's hard to see the colors. They're not as bright. There's another piece of a scallop shell right down there. See it down there, that orange? into area four there's our buddy Roy up there under the umbrella hanging out hey Roy you gonna be here all right I'll be back we'll go say hi to Roy in a little bit I don't know where Linda and Scott are. I don't know if they're all the way up at Wiggins Pass already. They've made it all the way up there. There's that stinking barge out there, littering up our view, cluttering up the view and beach. You can see where those waves are breaking. That's where it's dumped all the sand all out there. I. I'm not quite sure why they chose that spot, but they did, so be it. I'm sure those guys get a ton of money to do that. I don't know how long that operation's going to continue. It could stop tomorrow and it wouldn't bother me. It's definitely changed the shape of our beach. See how it juts out right here now? We're just about at low tide. Wish the sun would come out. It's just going to play, be playing hide and seek all day today. There's our osprey nest right up here above me. You can see it right there, the end of my finger. Really getting dark here now. Oh well. I did, I forgot to show you a sea turtle nest number four when I was walking up here. I apologize. We do have six nests now. We've seen all but all of them except number four, which is up in area four behind, just behind me. Another little piece of worm rock. walk slow and these these little shells you never know what you're going to come across you might find a little baby whelk or something Another black scallop. We saw quite a few of those at the beginning of our walk this morning out in the water. The black scallop shells. Looks like there's a piece of a little apple murex shell. Just a piece of one. Part of an apple murex, the side of it. Here comes the tugboat or the pusher boat, the pilot boat coming out of the pass up here. 
for this barge. I wonder what they're gonna do. I'm wondering if they're gonna move it. I'm gonna stick around here for a minute, see what happens. Another little scallop shell. Beautiful colors on those scallops. Aren't they beautiful, the scallop shells? Little kitten's paws. Find lots of these little kitten paws. Kittens or kitten, I don't know. Find a lot of them on the beach. Remember when I said little baby shells? Check this out. That is a little baby murex shell. Look at that. That is a little tiny baby murex. I would have never have spotted that if I didn't stop to look at that scallop shell. Look at that. Look how tiny that is. That is incredible. Looks like a little baby apple murex. It hasn't really even developed. How cool is that? Definitely a keeper. I got rewarded for stopping. I was waiting to see what this tugboat was gonna do with this barge just offshore here in area four. It's making its way down from the pass right now. There's a nice fighting conch shell. Beautiful shells, the fighting conchs. This one's got some nice colors on it as well. The Florida fighting conch. I'm guessing this boat's coming down here to start the motors up on this barge so it can start spewing its sand out onto the beach here and whatever else it sucks up from Wiggins Pass. It's just sitting offshore of Area 4 Beach. The pilot boat or the tugboat, whatever you want to call it. You can see it out there. The crew is on its way to, I'm guessing, start the engines on the pump over here. Got a big air compressor sitting on it. So that'll be price spitting sand out when we come back down the beach in a little while. I don't really care what they do. I don't want to care to watch it. I think if, the more I watch it, the angrier I get <laughs> about what they're doing to our beach here. Nice little, nice little chunk of worm rock over here. Boy, it's got some shells in it. That's a neat chunk of worm rock. Very cool looking. There's a little piece of a moon shell over here. Wish I'd found the whole moon shell. That's got some really cool colors in it. That's the eye, the moon shell, the shark eye. That's cool, neat colors. I love those lighter ones. There's the boat coming over here to start the pump up. The crew. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll find something along the beach here.
pretty dirty around here. I'm sure this is from the dredging. Area one is beautiful this morning. That's where we started this morning. Definitely check that out later. I'll post that this whole entire video on YouTube as well. You definitely want to check out area one. Piece of a little fighting conch there. You see the inside of it. Well, no Scott and Linda this morning. Hmm. Oh, here's that piece of angel wing shell, I think, that I picked up yesterday. That would have been a beautiful big angel wing shell. Wow, so fragile. These are kind of neat, the old conch shells. <laughs> yeah, I have an interesting design there, pattern. See how the beach has been eroding here. Got some pretty big waves and high tides. Knocking our beach down. Very, very overcast. Oh, there's a huge horseshoe crab here on the beach, huge. Sadly, it's a dead one. That's a big horseshoe crab there. Getting ripe. Ha! Ah, I just saw this rolling in the waves. Just rolled up on the beach. Got a couple chips on it, a lightning whelk. Got another shell stuck inside it. That's a lightning whelk. It just rolled up on the beach. I was able to grab it. Nice colors, beautiful colors to that lightning whelk. I'll keep it, even though it's got a couple chips in it. There's lots of stuff rolling in here in the waves. It's hard to hard to spot it, and when by the time you see it and reach down for it, the waves pull it back out. You got to be really, really fast. I don't know what you're looking for. Can't believe I saw that whelk. how quickly the shells come and go. There you have two seconds to look, boom, and they go out, they're pulled back out into the water. Oh, here's a beautiful scallop. Let's see if it washes back up here. Ah, where to go? Man, beautiful scallop. Can't believe I got it. Just grabbed blindly into the surf. 
and pulled it up there. Beautiful scallop shell. That's a gorgeous one. I'm going to keep that. Got quite a few of them, but I don't know. They're addicting. The scallops. stuff washing up here but I can't grab it in time. This is Area 5 Beach in case you're wondering where we're at. The north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. That got caught in my toes. Another scallop. Yep, another little scallop. That's a cool shape. And it got caught in my toes walking along the edge here. It's a beautiful little scallop. Nice shape. Very pronounced. There's quite a few of them. Quite a few of these little scallops out here. Still haven't got that barge going yet, the pumps. And it sounds like they're pushing it around down there. Somebody's blowing their horns out there. Some kind of lab, laboratory boat out there, laboratory. Doing something out there, I think. Don't see. I don't see Scott and Linda. They must have chickened out. There is a ton of shells here. See this ridge? There's no way I'm going to be able to grab anything there. I don't want to risk dropping the camera. There is a ton of shells down here. It's a lot easier to see if the sun was out, too. Darn it. There was a little murex down here that slipped through my fingers. Darn it. Okay. All this foam. Something else just rolled up here. I can't see it with all this foam. Ugh. was it? Oh, it was a scallop. I just saw the bright colors. It was another scallop shell. There's a big old cockle. Big old cockle shell with the hole in it. And I'll stick that up on the tree again. I had another shell up here this morning.
Somebody left their rod holder buried in the sand here. That's not good. I'm going to trip and get hurt on that. How could you forget that if you're a fisherman? <laughs> The water feels so nice out here this morning. Wow, there's something big offshore. Right offshore here. Must be a dolphin. It's moving really fast. Yep. See, see that? Oh, it's a dolphin. You know what it is? It's the pipe for the dredge. The tube. It's just popping up. Oh, there's something swimming in the water. That's funny, it's the piping that runs from Wiggins Pass all the way down to the dredge. And it was just kind of coming up and going under and it looked like something was swimming along. That was funny. I thought we were gonna see the Loch Ness Monster over there. Ah, well there's Scott and Linda. See what they found. That's why I didn't find anything out here in the water, because they beat me to it. I'm gonna hang this shell quick before I see them. I always like hanging a shell for all our friends watching. Get this nice big cockle shell. This nice big cockle. I'm just gonna stick it. Oh, here's a nice branch right here. There you go, another shell for all our friends watching that can't make it to the beach. That's for you guys. Happy Saturday. Well, Scott's got a handful of shells. Looks like you got a full pocket. Good morning. Well, a... you know, not, not anything great. But really? Nothing great? Uh, nah. Beautiful cockle shells, perfect ones, perfect scallop shells. Maybe a few pieces of murex, I don't know. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. Big ones, though. I, look at this murex I found. Yeah. Good size I'll pieces. I'll show you the contrast. I found this little apple murex. Oh my goodness. Look at the difference oh. in Fantastic. the sizes of those. <laughs> I mean, it's not awesome. even really shaped, no. no formed yet. He's getting there. <laughs> Man, wow. got, a, uh -oh. got a pair of bookends. Bookends. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, oh man. We, haven't found any. we just found two beautiful big tops, but that was all just yeah. the top. Yeah, those, found those two oh, moon shells. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow, those are, those are They're almost like twins. <laughs> yeah, those are great. Those are down in area one uh, in the water. Found like, a couple just, small ones. So I'm, I'm finding the stuff just washing up, yeah. you know, and then you got to. Grab sand at dollars. it really fast. Sand oh, nice some so, sand all. I the, hate when they're black, but, but no legs on them. We found a few yeah. live ones with Not legs yeah, on them. Put them back in. Dollars. I found a fat well, tip. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That is a big tip. I know it is. <laughs> about time you woke it's got up. Got ridges yeah, on it too. That is a very yeah. fat tip. Yeah. A wormy tip. Good well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Another big piece of coral. Oh, wow. I'm sure this stuff is coming up from this dredging. It's got to be. Yeah, My friend Sandy said there's like huge pieces, huge whelks and stuff up here, pieces of them big pieces, around yeah. the, the oh, corner. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But there's actually some, uh, I found a few small whelks out shirt. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah Roy's got here. his oh, free hug oh, shirt oh, on. Good to see you. <laughs> the shirt worked out great. Yeah, you're <laughs> definitely getting your the mileage out of that deal. <laughs> oh, always. Boy, he's a year spent. in on that one. Yep. <laughs> Free hugs. The chick magnet. <laughs> I love it. His face on it. That's yep. the best part. That's in case he forgets <laughs> who he is. Free right. means, free means <laughs> I don't have to pay for him. That's right. There you go. <laughs> oh, gosh. So how was dinner last night? That was great. I saw everybody's good. picture. It was, uh, that was it was nice to see Karen and Tom again. Yeah, I saw, I didn't recognize Tom there with the, <laughs> the hair on his face. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doing well. Good to see Patty. First time we saw Patty. Yeah. 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 Patty said her boat is coming along. We're going to have she's, the big boat party. She's got to get something. What did she say? Life jackets or something yeah, still? She had to get something. Cushions. 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 Yeah. yeah. That'll Somebody be fun. Somebody stole her anchor, so she oh. needs an anchor. Already. <laughs> yeah. One of these times we're gonna have the big boat party. There you go. That'll be fun. We'll try to do a video out there. I don't know if we'll get a signal. Oh, okay. Depends where we go. She yeah. knows the spot where a bunch of dolphins hang out. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah when you have a boat. Telling about the dolphins. Yeah. When you have a boat, there's some great places to go find dolphins, right, yeah. and they'll just they stay with you if you know what you're doing. They follow the boat. Yeah. You said they come right around Patty's Island. Patty's Island. It, yeah. All right, well, we'll have to go, definitely go to Patty's yeah, Island. Yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> so are you just getting here? Well, getting a late start? <laughs> well, Jenny and I watched a movie last night and got okay. to bed kind of late, and then I had some office work. So I figured it was all over cast anyway. What's the rush? So well, yeah, it wasn't, much, stuff it wasn't much of a sunrise, that's for sure. But still. Hey, uh, old uh, um, Mark is there. And he said that uh, uh, a dolphin leaped clean out of water out by that uh, fishing or no swimming buoy out there. Really? Yeah. I've clean, been clean up in the I've air. Been, I've been looking. I started. I went started all the way down at the end this morning. Yeah. Two, couple of another turtle nests. We're up to six now. Oh really? Yep. Oh boy. Yep. So we got six sea turtle nests. So they deep. found the eggs in there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh. So, what's new? Well, just carrying on, that's what's carrying new. Carrying on? Yeah. The, uh, yesterday, everybody really enjoyed your talk about just getting out in nature and uh, getting in touch with the Creator. I mean, that, yeah. was, a, that was some a nice little talk there. Yeah, nice little had, lesson. Nice, a nice, nice lesson. chat, didn't yeah, we? a nice lesson for everyone. I mean, people look forward to that. Today, it's the big... Whoop de doo wedding, the royal wedding. So Oh that's right. Yeah. Oh I was gonna watch that yeah. this morning. Everybody's watching that now. We don't have yeah. a lot of people watching us live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. They they'll come back yeah, and watch it. I was us gonna later. watch it. It was seven o'clock this morning, I guess it started, yep. didn't it? Yeah. That's uh, quite an ordeal. I was still going on. I suppose they'll replay it and everything. Oh yeah, you'll be able to see it forever and ever. <laughs> that's yeah, all so. they'll be talking about yeah, in the that news. That'll be terrific, yeah. Yep. Looking yeah. forward to that, that's for sure. I don't want you falling over here in the waves. You can't get it on your little gadget, huh? No, I don't want to get it on my gadget. <laughs> oh, that should be terrific. Huh? Yeah. This I must be the queen's grandson, I, I think. I think that's what it is, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. What an experience for the girl, huh? <laughs> is this the son the of, the, of the lady that got killed in the car accident? The movies are that. Are they Is married? it? I don't know. I haven't been following it. Who was that? Oh, well, there was some beautiful American right, girl right, that married. Right. Uh, I think it was Prince right. Evan married her son. Right. But then she got killed in an unfortunate right. car accident. But I think she had these children prior. So what to... was that? Prince Harry, right? That would be the, the son, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. 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 I haven't been following it. I mean, I'm just not into those kind of things. I think it's interesting. <laughs> hey, they took the air compressor off that barge. See the tugboat? I always wondered why they had an air compressor there. I don't know. I mean, see but it's it's pumping away down there now. It's it spewing out, out that dirty oh, old yeah. sand, there that dirty goes. black sand again. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Have to swim farther down the beach. <laughs> I don't know what they're, why they chose that spot. Like you say, well, maybe that's the end right of the hose. On, they've been moving right on down the beach. Oh, it's moving further yeah, south? they keep on moving it farther. So yeah. I don't know how far they're going to go, how long that hose is. That's a hose and a half. I saw the hose. It came up. It like just popped up out here out of the water. I'm like, what the? It looked like something swimming. I know. The whole I was long, like, what was well, that? They, they had a plate on the end, so they had air in it. Yeah. So it would float when they were pulling the hose out there. Right. Then they pulled the plate off, and then it sank when the water came in. I thought it was something we were swimming really fast for a second. I'm like, oh my yeah, gosh. That was amazing. I don't know where they get a hose that long. It must be a lot of coupling. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't know, what time is it? Where are we at time-wise? Yeah. I started way down at the end this morning. 
Oh, it's uh, 909. 909. I got a long walk back this morning. Yeah. But um, I wanted to chat with you a little more about your book. You want to sit, oh, yeah. want to sit down on the bench over there? Oh, Get well, off we feet. can do that. Yeah, let's go over here and I'll meet you up there. Good, good. Nice little cockle shell here. It's under my feet while I was talking to Roy. We're going to go up and you know, chat with him a little bit about his book here. I'm going to give you one quick look around the corner there. That's the north end of the beach, Wiggins Pass. Got a family up there playing. That's cute. A little overcast here this morning, but still beautiful. The sun's just playing hide and seek today. Peekaboo. What's that? Oh, a little. Yeah. Here's something for you. <laughs> what is that? Oh, they'll get it. It was on the bench here. She's all, her face is all messed up. A little toy somebody left. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, gosh. Somebody else's bench, huh? Yeah. Oops. Whoop. Quite a few of these benches along the beach. Great place to sit and chat. Oh, they're great. Soak in the, ser the serotonin. Yeah, isn't it glorious? It My is God. glorious. Yeah. Hope we see some dolphins. I That's would love to see delight. a dolphin. Yeah. I yeah, there was a whole pot up at the pass. Uh, yeah, it was yesterday, the day before. Man, uh, about three or four of them coming out of water together. Really? Yeah, yeah, right up in the pass. Well, I miss seeing those dolphins. Gosh. Huh. I wanted to talk about your book a little more here. Getting well, closer it's, and closer. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, uh, the girl is typing it up now, Sandy. Is Sandy. It? So, uh. Then I'm going to the, get it published, well, and away get, we go. Get those pictures Send in Send it there. out to everybody. Yeah, so pictures you got to get some pictures and in I got, I got some very humorous stuff that I included, some too. Some humor. But, yeah, because one of my chapters is, is laughter. Laughter. Yeah. I, laughter, I think, is extremely healthy. <laughs> of course it and is. And it's lots of fun. Uh, so when you, when you uh, read something funny or somebody tells me a really goofy joke and you get a really big laugh out of it, that's really worthwhile. You got that you, right. You feel wonderful. You feel exuberant and happy and just a big, big laugh. Well, that's good. So, and I think it um, definitely helps your your outlook and your health and your and your life in general. So, well, they say, yeah, it's humor. Smiling. Humor. They say smiling's good exercise for your face smiling, too. Smiling, yeah. Hey, I read somewhere that's a good exercise. It oh, uses really? A lot of muscles in your face. <laughs> yeah. Many, much more than frowning. <laughs> yeah. So. So that's one of the chapters, and, uh, and there's just nothing like a, a good joke, you know. Just right. Really, really. So are these are these classics? These jokes are these uh, 93 years old? Well, I don't know where <laughs> I got them, but uh, uh, one of them is uh, really goofy about Noah's Ark. Build, uh, Noah oh, building yeah. his ark. I've heard that all one. the problems he had. Oh my God! Yep. Don't really... spoil it. May have to buy the book to <laughs> hear you read the joke. <laughs> So there's all kinds of fun things. I mean, that's a good. So it's there's some serious things in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Fun, you know humor. how to survive. It's all pretty serious business. But uh, but uh, one of the survival uh, ingredients is is good humor. Yep. It has good health. So that's one of the chapters. So when so this is really it's it's more kind of a lot of tips too, right? It's it's kind of like how you things you've done. What you think is attributed yeah. to you making it to 93 years old, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what, probably that's much, what, pretty that's much what it. they are. They're kind of, yeah. they're like Roy's, Dr. Roy's tips for you healthy can, living. I'm <laughs> sure on the market there must be hundreds of, oh, of uh, how, how to how to do it books about how to eat, what to yeah, eat, and these, vitamins is, to this take. This your experience. Oh, my goodness, take exercise. I mean, it's endless. But these are just little little off the record tips things that aren't generally yep. exposed and uh, th that's what it's all about I mean, it's, it's the things that we've talked about many yeah. times here yeah. in the mornings during these beach walks a lot of a lot of it has to do with your attitude really that's the whole big thing yeah <laughs>
Well, I hope it's a big success. Because we know for you. we know what you know what we should eat and what we should do and all those good Are things. You, but yeah. but your general attitude has got a lot to do with your health and happiness. Of course it does. That's, <laughs> Is one of the main things. A bad attitude leads to an unhappy life. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> like Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be a Scrooge. Oh my. Yeah. Picture of Darius. So out of Dary. everything that's in that book, what do you think is what did you enjoy writing about the most? What's your favorite part chapter in that book? Well, I think the most important chapter... Uh, uh, not important. Okay, favorite? The, the one that you enjoyed writing about the most. What topic? Well, I think including all these humorous things has been a lot of fun because I read them <laughs> over before I included them and right. I got some tremendous laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so that's a good time. So what do you think it was besides the humor? What do you think was... What part did you enjoy writing? Gosh, I can't think of anything specific. <laughs> you, you enjoyed it all. Yeah, the whole thing was a so real what is pleasure. Your, then what is your favorite? <laughs> or what is your favorite one? Or the, you were going to say the most important. What do you think the most important one is? Well, the most important is not drinking poison. Is that the most important one? I think that's the most vital. Hmm. And... Uh, and that even even regardless of that, everybody, most people seem to do it. Yep. But I'm trying to uh, uh, bring, get them aware of the of the horrors of it. I'm sure people aren't going to be very pleased to hear about it, but <laughs> but I'm espousing it anyway. Well, there you go. So that's... I think that's the most important part, and uh, and. Uh, so they can, if they don't want to read it, they can rip those pages out of the book. <laughs> <laughs> It's no. over with briefly. There you go. <laughs> it's over in a flash. Yeah. Like life. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun. And if it, uh, if it helps people a little bit, why, it's been very worthwhile. And I think it will. Oh, well, I'm sure I've heard Sandy say it's definitely going to give him a chuckle here and there. <laughs> yeah, she's even just typing it up. She said she, she kind of yeah. really gets involved and hard to start ty stop typing because yep. she gets reading it. <laughs> So yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Get some nice pictures, a few, some nice pictures in there. People, people enjoy pictures. It brings a, it ties you into the book more when they see your pictures in there. Yeah, I'll have pictures, but they got to be relevant to the theme of the book. Well, it is. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> the theme is you. Well, no, not me. It's just uh, my survival is the theme of the book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. I know there's a lot of people looking forward to it. I know you've already got quite a few orders. I'm sure yeah, yeah. you probably get orders that you get a couple orders every day yet, or? Well, yeah, they're drifting in, so that's, that's always a thrill. Yep, that's good. One day you'll get the big one, the big order. I know our friend Joyce. She's really concerned there. You did get her order, right, Joyce? Oh. Or in Scotland. Oh, yeah, yeah. She in just wants Scotland. to make sure you hold on to her copy. Oh, that's for sure. She'll be here in October. Yeah, when... she said she'd meet me on the beach. Yep, isn't that neat? Yeah, that's hand, really She wants it hand-delivered. <laughs> so she gets a book. She gets the two books and a hug. <laughs> <laughs> it's her lucky, it'll be her lucky morning. Maybe, maybe even two hugs. Maybe if even if a I'm dance. Luck, if maybe I'm even lucky. a dance on the beach. <laughs> I've seen you doing that before. If I'm lucky, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I know she's excited. She sent me a message yesterday wanting to know. Oh, really? Just double checking to make sure you got it. I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure you got it. Uh, uh. Just make sure you don't drop it in the mail to Scotland. <laughs> well, I inadvertently erased the emails that day when hers came in, but uh -oh. may, I managed to recover it, so okay. I was concerned. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yep, people can... People can give you a call on the phone, the old, the old fashioned way of communicating. If they want to order a book, they can actually give you a call. Well, that would be delightful. Yeah. And a lot of people, when, they, when they've sent in their, their 20 bucks, uh, they write me the nicest letters. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful what. letters. Touch my heart. You know, about uh, how they really enjoy the, the program in the morning. And we, we have got some wonderful wonderful friends on Facebook. That's for and sure. And they are just from all around the world now. I mean, we have yeah, people in Australia watching. Can Isn't you believe that, that Australia? Huh, huh. Well, they got to get up a little earlier in the morning there, don't they? 
I don't know what time it is. I, I don't know if it's nighttime there, if it's, I have I don't know what time it is in Australia, and what part of Australia. <laughs> it's a pretty big That's continent. a big area. <laughs> a big area That's there, for yeah. sure. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, it draws the whole world together, doesn't it? And then, and then it always amazes me. Yesterday, just yesterday, I met two people out here on the beach that have been watching us on Facebook. Here. No kidding. Yep, they have just come down to spend some time here, and they had to they had to come to the beach and find me. And I'm sure they found you. I know they did because I saw the one gal came over and gave you a hug while I was talking to you right before we started oh, talking yeah, yesterday. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. They'd seen Facebook and they came to this beach to say hello yep. to you and to me. And now I've, I've started putting copies of these videos on another thing called YouTube, which is another place you can watch videos on the internet. So now even more people are starting to watch. Because not everybody does this Facebook thing. Uh -huh. So now they get to see it on YouTube. Well, that's when you just plug in Southwest Florida. Uh, yeah, you'll find, the, you'll yeah. find our, my videos. But if you put SWFL TV or Southwest Florida Television or Southwest Florida TV, I'm pretty easy to find. Good. I don't hide. That's great. That's I don't great. Have, I don't have much to hide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Bye, George. It's so quiet here other than the little chit-chat behind us there. Oh, it's always nice to have chit-chat. Yep. It's nice to have other people out here. I really uh, enjoy how well the children enjoy this beach. Oh, they something? love it. Yep, they got... run in the water and they play around. Yep. And... Just out here in front of us, you got a young oh. man out there and they're all with his really dad well and his fishing too. pole. Yeah, I get a kick out of the kids. Yeah. And then, and then mother's got these little, little girly girls and they're dressed in yep. the cutest. Aren't they cute, the little oh, kids? Oh, the and they, girls they go on down, you know, right to the, to the water and... Oh, they're yeah, the cutest little them. things. <laughs> yeah, the kids are usually pretty well behaved. It's the parents you got to keep an eye on. <laughs> oh, they're well behaved too. Everybody's really nice down here. Here comes another family. Look at there. Look at this little tot coming out there yeah. with this bucket. <laughs> oh, and the boys—they run like men. Oh, yeah. oh they're, they're remember really those days, Roy? Guys. Yeah. <laughs> when we were little kids, <laughs> I remember. Going to the beach was such a thrill when I was a little boy. Fishing in Bradford Beach down in Milwaukee on Lake Michigan. Wow. Oh, I, boy. I was, I mean, this is how different Miami was back in the old days. I was just, you know, a little kid, you know, seven, you know, eight years old. And my mom would just dump me off at the beach all day huh. just to hang out there. <laughs> how about that? Yeah. Were you from Miami, are you? Yeah. I, had oh, a, I, I mean, that. I'd meet up with a bunch of my friends. But, you know, we were all, you know, seven, eight years old. And our parents would just dump us there for the day. Give us a couple bucks, you know, they had a that? concession stand to get something to eat. And huh, huh, huh. The life, I mean, the, everybody knew us, the lifeguards knew us, and they, we got in trouble quite a few times with the huh, lifeguards. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> oh, we were always doing something. They were always yeah. on top of, always on you for digging holes at the beach back then. <laughs> yeah. Or throw, we'd get in, you know, fights, throwing sand at each other and get it all over other people. And huh, huh. the lifeguards would come and like put us in a, time out and make us go you know sit under a coconut tree for a half hour <laughs> <laughs> yeah the lifeguards were the disciplinarians on yep. the beach too oh yeah they were respected too uh, uh. they blow their whistle and yell at yeah you, that's right the <laughs> and they sat in those little the little, little tower, yeah. towers <laughs> watching everything and they had binoculars and that was yeah fun. they were they were a busy bunch of lifeguards yep i was a lifeguard for just a little while oh were you yep Yep, that was fun. Got to meet a lot of girls. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> I always wanted to come and talk to you for a chat with a lifeguard. That's right. <laughs> yep, I was, I was just a kid. Um, but it was fun. Yeah, I guess there's no lifeguards down here. I don't know if any Florida beach have got lifeguards. Yeah, there's they do have lifeguards on some of our beaches, but it's all it's a money thing, sadly. Uh -huh. You know, the the parks are just. It seems like the money, you know, it starts at the top and trickles downhill, you know, the state money, government funding, and the parks get very little of it. They kind I of leave think, them out on I their own. I would think one of the lifeguards would be one of the more... Wouldn't you think that's uh, important? ...important expenses, wouldn't you? You would think. And they could help keep, keep order on the beach, too. Now they drive those wagons back and forth all the well, time. Well, these guys, this park, I mean, all of our state parks, they are so... 
undermanned. They're always looking for volunteers. There's so many retired people here. I mean, what a great, Hi, what a great place to volunteer. <laughs> Lynn's afraid of the camera. <laughs> she won't come over while we're chit-chatting. Oh, she's coming over. Hi, Lynn. I'll point the camera up at the sky. Thank you. Hi, you we'll, we'll hear you, but we won't see you. How are you doing, Don't honey? Don't see me. I'm good. Good, good. Oh, doing, there's Roy, Roy getting well, a hug. I'm, I'm, lurking, <laughs> I'm lurking up here trying to get two hugs. Uh, he's he's advertising with his shirt there. His free <laughs> hug shirt. Free hugs today. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know why Lynn's so camera fi camera shy. She's so well, pretty, I, isn't I she? Like <laughs> Take oh. a picture of her and we'll put it on the cover of Playboy magazine. Oh, Roy. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, sure. I don't think so. Roy, Roy, Roy. <laughs> You're something else. You have a good day. Yeah, are you going swimming with us today? No. I'm taking my walk and going home. Uh, before I get to it, you got to get home and watch the wedding, huh? Oh, I've already seen that. Yeah, been there, done that. I've seen enough of it. There you go. Have a good day, Lynn. <laughs> nice seeing you. Oh. I'd like to watch the wedding. Yep. I think that'd be, that'd be great. I gotta, hopefully they replay that. She really does exist, folks. There she is. She just is very camera. She doesn't want to be on camera. She's camera shy. <laughs> oh, she's something, huh? She's been coming out here for quite a while, too. Well, Wait. with, with uh, 4,000 people watching us, we can't make any errors in conduct. There you go. We have to behave ourselves. Right. No. Lynn, yeah, Lynn was a nurse. She was a, she's a retired really? nurse, yeah. Oh, good. We have a lot of nurses here in this part of the world. Imagine that. Hell, that's a high calling. Yep. Doctors and nurses. A lot of people needing them here in Naples. <laughs> Except you. Well, I, I get there once in a Every while. Every once in a blue moon. Yeah. Yeah, the medical profession. I have tremendous respect for them. Yeah. They do a great, great job, people. I'll tell you. Yeah, every once in a while there's one bad egg and gives them all a bad name, but I don't know. Any most, bad that egg. happens I with everything. So. Yeah, it happens with I everything. I don't think so. Bad mechanics. <laughs> hey, look at the blue Which, sky there, buddy. I know, yeah. that's beautiful. I wish it would stay like that all day, but sadly it's supposed to rain later today. Well, we can go singing in the rain. You, you can be that. you'll be singing in the rain. Yeah. What are you doing later today? <laughs> What's what, what you got I, on the books? Well, I'm probably singing in the rain, like singing we just in the rain. About, They're yeah. having today is Armed Forces Day. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. This is when we celebrate all of our military, all I the branches. You said that was yesterday. I no, played over hill, over dale. That was for today, in case we didn't see you. Trail. Oh, that it. Yeah. Well, but, so they're good. having a big party up there in Bonita today, with music and. Food. Well, I was part of the military. That was you were. quite an honor. You were in the Navy. Yeah. You were in charge of the communications for all of the United States Navy. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> just, just for the Iowa. Just for the Iowa. <laughs> and then up in Alaska, right? Yeah. Kodiak, Alaska. Wow. All right. Well, I think I'm going to get moving along. How are you feeling? Wonderful. I'm going out to the end and talk to the great creator and head back go. and have a plunge. Maybe we'll see some of those dolphins out there. Look forward to that. Roy, it's always a pleasure. Oh, it's a delight for me. We didn't accomplish much this morning, but we had a pleasant time anyway. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we got to sit and rest. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> Soak in the serotonin. Right. You Got, we got to talk about your book a little bit more, help spread the word there. Well, I, yeah, that's nice. I appreciate people sending in their 20 bucks, and they can do it on PayPal now. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Roy Hazy, or else 718 95th Avenue North in Naples, Florida, yeah. 34108. They can, they That'll can, do it. They can find that information. I got that all on Facebook for them to ah, good. get that info. And I'll include two books, so I, I think it'll be sure worth 20 bucks. There you go. All right, buddy. Well, up we go. Uh -huh. the, stretch the old bones there. Uh -huh. uh. 
Back at free it. Free hugs, ladies. If you hurry up and get out here. You only get free hugs when he's wearing this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> free hugs always. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to start heading back down the beach. I might peek around the corner here, but... Okay, well, I'm peeking around the I'm corner, you, too. You might catch up to me. I'm going to walk ahead of okay, you. Okay, Ron. Right? Great seeing you, man. God bless you. Have a great day. You, too. Tally-ho. Tally-ho. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, no swimming up here. No, Stay right. out of Wiggins Pass. <laughs> Stay out of the channel. Not without my surfboard. <laughs> Just gonna take a quick peek around the corner at Wiggins Pass up here. And I got a long walk back to where we started this morning, all the way back down in area one. We pretty much walked the entire beach this morning. That was great. The sun's just starting to make a little appearance again. It's partly cloudy today. The sun's just peeking in and out. Probably gonna get some rain later this afternoon. Expecting a high of 81 today, which is a lot cooler than it's been. The water temperature is 82. Beautiful Saturday morning. Gotta love it. And look at that. Somebody's getting married on the beach. We've got the arch set up. Gonna have a beach wedding today. Isn't that cool? Well, oh, here's a interesting looking little fighting conch. Nice little colors on that. There's an old one. Look at how worn out this conch shell is. Wow. It's pretty smooth, pretty smoothed out. Oh. There's where the wedding's gonna happen. What a beautiful place to have a wedding, huh? Right out here on the beach. Very cool. Oh, here's a horseshoe crab. Another horseshoe crab on the beach. We saw one earlier. Dead horseshoe crab, unfortunately. Hey. Yep, another couple's getting married here. I wonder when it's gonna be. Probably in an hour or so. I always like to slide down, see if I can kiss the bride. Oh, of course. That's Remember right. that morning when we were out here at sunrise and we saw the guy propose to his gal? Yes. Remember that? He had that stage all built, the stage and built the walk line that made a little walkway with the flowers and the lights. Remember that? That's right. Yeah. And then he got down on his, and we we did we showed it live on Facebook. I mean that was something That's else. That's right. Did he get down on his knees and yep. propose? Yep. What a guy. Up yeah. By Wiggins Pass. But the way all those flowers yep. and everything. He made like a little walkway from the. All the way out to the... That's that, right, with flowers. Yep, what it was that guy. old piece of dock that washed up on the beach that time. Yeah, what a turned guy. Turned it into a little stage. For a proposal. Yep, Whoa, that, that was that really neat. Really something. You never know what you're going to see Let's out find here. Out when the wedding is going well, to be. Well, it's going to be... I'm going to be long gone, but you well, can. Roy loves these beach weddings. Can you blame him? But there you go, there's a look north up the beach. I'm gonna take a quick photograph. Bear with me for one second. All right, I'm back, sorry. I'm just like taking a couple photos and sharing them later. Some people don't like watching these long videos, but they do enjoy looking at a couple of photographs. I'll take one more here, down in low by the driftwood here by the old trees that got knocked over by Hurricane Irma. Just bear with me while I do that. There goes Roy. Oh 
Well, Daddy O, you have a great day. What time's the wedding? About 10 minutes, she 10 said. minutes, wow. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna stick around. You gonna watch the wedding? Yeah, I like weddings. Well, that sounds like fun. Good for you. Why don't you stick around with us? Nope, I got things I gotta do. I'd love to, Nothing's but- Nothing's more important than kissing the bride. That's their <laughs> business, yep. <laughs> I don't wanna embarrass them. Oh, well, I think I'll look at these little kids. Time. Hey, bud. <laughs> oh, I remember being that age and playing on the beach. Oh, to be a kid again. What would you do, Roy, if you were a kid again? Probably the same thing as I did before. <laughs> Hug all the little girls. Just play and enjoy life. Chase, you were probably chasing all the little girls up and down the beach. I don't think so. No? <laughs> Back, when did that start? Back in those years, <laughs> that's pretty meaningless. Uh, look at these waves starting to kick in, huh? Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Just started running the dreads again. Yep. All right, I got to get going. Roy, hey, God bless. Yeah, Enjoy please. the wedding. Yeah, I look forward to it. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye. See you later, Roy. And there goes our good friend, Roy. I always love coming out here and chatting with him. He's the highlight of my morning. 93 years old. God bless his soul. Well, it is time for me to get moving. Heading on back. Like I said, I started down in Area 1 this morning, the Long Beach Walk. It's going to be a wedding here in about 10 minutes. Roy's going to come and check that out, try to get a hug from the bride. That's what he said he's going to do. There's quite a few people starting to show up this morning, even though it's overcast. I guess they want to get out here before the afternoon rains, the afternoon showers. Look at this guy. Snooping around people's beach chairs, looking for something to steal, something to eat. <laughs> no fear. Beautiful little snowy egret. What a great look at his little yellow feet. Wow. It's almost walking right up to me. A little snowy egret. Remember to check back later. I'll post a link for YouTube where you can watch this video in a little higher quality later today. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Please take some time, check out my photos and videos here on Facebook. Lots of great stuff. Mostly all photos taken here at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. There are some other things, some other beaches around town, some other points of interest. 
But the majority of my posts are from right here, this beautiful state park. morning. Well, if you were curious about what the beach looks like at Del Norwegans Pass State Park this morning's beach walk. Definitely tells the story. This morning I covered the entire beach from area one up to area five up to Wiggins Pass. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you appreciate my efforts. Remember I'm in the video production business, so if you have a business in town here in Southwest Florida and you need a video for your company or service or product, get in touch with me. Video is the way to go now, especially with the internet. Everybody wants videos on their website. And videos are also great for social media, for social media postings to promote yourself. So get in touch with me if I can help you out with the video. Look at this little pile of shells down here. Just a little pile. Hmm. Never know what you're gonna uncover. Sometimes you find some real nice little gems. Well, I gotta bring this live feed to an end. I gotta make sure I have enough battery power left to save the video onto my phone. Again, thank you for joining me. It's been a great, great Saturday morning. Let me give you one more look around here before signing off. And as you can see, the barge is pumping its sand out again. Some blue sky peeking through now, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.